Hey guys, um, happy Friday. Uh, today I'm going to show you uh, my the simple filtration system that I use in this koi pan. This is actually an old pig pen. This koi pan. Uh, before uh, I had done um, a renovation converting it to a koi pan I paid Amazon to renovate this but the Amazon did not uh, do it properly and as you can see here this is what he had done for the renovation he just add additional cement and right away without um, without uh, do puncturing the old cement the process it should be the old cement should he should uh, puncture it so that whenever he would apply a new cement it will stick but unfortunately it did not so that is why I added trapal instead so this is an old big pen and I think the size of this is uh, 4 by 4 meter by 2 meter so this is an old big pen so this one uh, don't have and filtration system chamber so what I did I just uh, add a big a large a bigger plastic pail this one this is just one chamber I'm planning to buy another pail for the mini mechanical uh, biological because this one is just one pail I just add the me biological and mechanical filtration system here all in one in the pail as you can see this is the biological media this is the bio balls here just add it here and I have here also a lava rock I just add it here and also there's and for the mechanical filtration that will filter the larger particles is an old mosquito net so I just add it all here in this large pail and I am using an airlift pump this is just a small airlift pump and this is the size of the PVC pipe is three fourths so I think I need to build another bigger one so this is just temporary I am planning to add another pail for the biological uh, filter media for to house this one the uh, bio balls the lava rock 
and also I'm planning to have a key one so or planted so I, maybe I can add another additional two fail for the two chamber for biological and plant uh, the bug so as of now this is just temporary and it, it serves its purpose as you can see here it uh, filter the the koi spool as you can see here There's a lot of koi poo in the mosquito net here. See, it's so filthy here. A lot of uh, koi poo. So this is just what I did so I need it's very troublesome because I need to do it every week but it's okay I enjoy it so I just take out the water slowly from the pail with the koi poo what I did this is a bigger pail I think this this is a trash can not a pail um, this is what I did and Just slowly remove the water inside the pail. It has a lot of koi poo. See, look at the water so filthy. Oh, empty. I think I need to turn off. I need to remove this pump since the pump pump out also the poo. I forgot to turn off. So this is our this is our early pump. See, it's just a small early pump, but the output, you see, you can, this one, the, I use a 20 watt air pump for this. What what is the benefits of using this one and early pump is unlike the submersible uh, submersible can uh, easily broke uh, broke down because it has an impeller and it's running 24 hours and the impeller will uh, broke and it's very dangerous also the submersible because uh, you will be in danger also to be electrocuted because it will be grounded it will be 
whenever there's a short circuit because the impeller is broken it will be grounded so I will really advise you to use an airlift because it's safe there's no it's just an air that pumps out the water and no electricity inside just an air chamber and it won't clog up the submersible will clog up and this one it's there's no clog up and it's safe and and also uh, it serves two purpose it serves as uh, aeration and it serves like a protein skimmer because uh, it will uh, move out take out the organic uh, matter from the water like the aeration do so this serves to purpose aeration and filtration so you can save a lot of money if you're using a submersible pump you need to install you need also to add an aerator to your pump so if early if you're, you have an aeration already and you have a pump so you can see electricity so and it's safe you will not be endangered being electrocuted like an like in a submersible pump so if you want to increase the volume the output of your early pump uh, you can just add um, you can just buy a bigger pump like for example this one this is bigger this is the one that powers our early pump this is smaller 20 watts in this small and this is bigger this is what we use in our uh, air lift pump for in the well so this is it guys so I have a videos uh, I have a video also how I build this early pump you can watch in the description below or in the cards or so will be adding just check out in the link below and also you are also interested in how to breed koi fish you can check out our blog also at www.geobellkoicenter.com i have also a blog there on what do koi fish eat check it out also at the link in the description below and you can check out there what i feed what do koi fish eat what i give feed to my koi fish so this is all for now guys if you have any questions just feel free to leave comment in the comment section and don't forget to like uh, subscribe and also if you want to be updated to whenever I have new videos just click the bell button not bell button notification for any update of my new videos and you can follow also 
my social media accounts twitter facebook and instagram so bye for now guys see ya